So we are at our new destination. We no, I'm keeping my mask on because the wind is brutal. We are at Tedaguch. Teta I'm sorry if I mispronounced that in Minnesota. Are oh, you no fun? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say it the other no. way. <laughs> Stop. Tedaguch. Stop it. So the campsite is a little small, but man, the snow here is massive and the wind is brutal. So we're gonna try to get camp set up. We're gonna try to get some dinner going later and. 
hopefully get nice and cozy later on. But there is a lot of people here. There's actually people that are hot tent camping also. So I have to say it's pretty cool for us weird, crazy people that want a winter camp. So come on, let's get this going. Trying to get warm. That's what's going on. And heat some water for some hot cocoa. Camp is set up and what time is it? It's a little after seven. So we're just trying to whip together some dinner, something easy. I started some chicken breasts at home. I already bagged them up because you know I'm always about trying to make something simple and more convenient. Um, brought some fixins, got some pork rinds, something simple. the door. Yeah. Jack, do you want it? No. No? No. Ooh, that's a big mess. Okay, see, that's why you can't. Faulty pot. Okay, I ate the chicken bites off. <laughs> We're camping. It's There's really no rules. It's, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's okay. Nasty. That nasty. Chicken and chocolate. I mean, don't you eat Mexican food because you eat what is that? Um, mole. Chicken. Mole sauce has chocolate. Yes. No. Yes. Mole sauce has chocolate in it. Yes, what did we try? This was new crab cocktail spread. Very yummy. Never had that before. Put it on my chicken sandwich because Big Daddy forgot mayonnaise. That's what happens when you let him organize the cooler with all the cooking stuff. We're always missing something. So instead of mayonnaise on our sandwich, we put crab cocktail spread. I'll stick it in the back. It is currently negative 8 and a negative 19 wind chill, so it's pretty cold. Got the hot tent going again, the truck's warming up so we can sit in there and get a little bit warm. Oh, fingers, fingers go cold the fastest. But we got, it's a smaller campsite, but um, it's beautiful. We're right by a mountain, as you see, the moon's still out, clear skies. The sun's coming, so I think it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm supposed to get up to 15 today, and then tonight only down to 12, which, that's a lot better. No wind. So tomorrow's supposed to be 33. So we're pretty excited to get this day going. Uh, share all the scenery with you around here. We're hoping to see some wildlife, because we're far enough north to see moose, but I, I don't know. Bears, I doubt it. We'll see, though. Let's see where she's at. I don't think she's even got out of bed yet. Let's have a look. I'm getting up. We need coffee. I know. I'm getting up. I'm getting there. I got some of the covers off. I'm making my way there. Good morning.
I'm in the process of trying to make coffee. Just cold. It's cold. Ooh. Ooh. When your tortillas are frozen, this is what you do. Two seconds on the buddy here. We don't need them dry. I don't, I want dry eggs. No. I don't want any wet eggs. They don't, why does everything have to be overcooked? It's not overcooked, I don't want any wet eggs. You got some cheese in there, that'd be nice and cheesy. Let's do the coffee. Yes, we go. It's like we've been up for over an hour, we're just not having coffee. Listen, it was a little bit of slow roll out of bed. My feet are freezing, even with my double wool socks on. I had my hat on, I had my neck warmer. I don't know, but my sweatshirt, good. my undershirts. Let's go. My sweater. I'm starving. Listen, hold your horses here. Get this show on the road. I'm gonna get this show on the road. Burnt bacon again. Actually, what it should be is I roll out of bed and there's already coffee made, breakfast is going. 28 years, that's definitely not happening. Okay, what's up with this picture? Did your honeys make breakfast for you? Leave it in the comment Don't below. Start. I'm curious Don't to know. Start. I need some ammo. Don't take all the bacon, you bacon hog. I had to do all the, uh... yeah, they sit in the trucks and stay warm. I do all the camp related activities. No, so no, I had to like cook. warm up. My feet were so cold. Although I have to say the bathrooms here, they're heated. It's awesome. <laughs> I know it's oh, winter yeah. camping. First but State it's... Park or anywhere we've been where there's a functioning flush toilet in the middle of the winter and water running. The showers and are a shower. warm. I turned them on yeah, just not, to see, but I'm not going to get in there. But I did turn on. It does do hot water. So I guess if you want to take a shower in the middle of the winter, you could do it. Then you got to walk back to the campsite. This is going to be a little hodgepodge here. Yeah, a lot of hot fudge. Where's Jack? Jack is eating cinnamon toast crunch and what else? Bacon. Man, that coffee's good. So we stopped, we left the campsite, got everything all situated, and we're at Tempest River State Park. We found this lookout spot that is absolutely beautiful. You can oversee your Lake Superior. The water, even though it is ice, it is freezing out here and the wind is a little beautiful, it looks so relaxing and so beautiful. And just even the rock and the ice that's coming off, because I think during the summertime we have like some waterfall action. It is absolutely breathtaking. So it is open and empty. You can actually see Lake Superior out there. Some of the ice is broken up and it's got a lot of uh, ice dams and the water is slowly moving. It's just very relaxing. It's a cool place to come and check out if you're over in the area. And there's lots of lookout sites. There's this little bridge here and there's lots of lookout sites. If you can even get closer to see Lake Superior. Um, so beautiful spot and I'm definitely going to come back in the summertime to check it out.
is breathtaking. But the wind, because you're right on where the water is, is a little brutal. So just pull my thing down for a little bit. But it is breathtaking up here. There is so much to see. We are in the town of Grand Marais. Grand Marais. So it is a cute little town. Uh, lots of beautiful shops, cofferies, distilleries. Um, there is tons to do here in the winter. There is clean snowboarding. Uh, snow snow uh, revealing is like a big thing. I think we need to get a snow all these times. But it is an absolute beautiful scenic area. Lots to see. So we are just super excited. Great to be out here today. I know it's cold, but we're bearing through the, the cold weather just to see these beautiful scenic sights. And then hope to come back summertime just to kind of catch all this but I'm sure it's just would be amazing to see during the summertime when you've got the water rolling and the warm temperatures and you can do all those fun water activities so I'm glad you get to be here with us today So we made it back to camp. We tried to go see the Split Rock Lighthouse, but it got too dark. We're gonna try to see that in the morning. It's definitely warmer right now than last night. It's 15. Uh, the wind's pretty bad right now though, 17 mile an hour wind. So the tent sagged in a little, but it's supposed to warm up through the night, which is great. So by morning it's gonna be 23 or so, and the wind is gonna die down a little bit. So it should be much better than last night. We got the hot tent stove going, and we got our fire pit going out here. Jack's digging out a path to the picnic table, which is buried by like four feet of snow. So we're gonna have some dinner in a bit, maybe play some cards, and relax. Had a great day though exploring all the way up to Grand Marais, and we tried to go find some moose on the uh, what's the name of that road? The name of the restaurant. The road. I know, but the same name as the restaurant we eat at. The last one with the appetizers. Gunflint Trail. There you go. So we tried to go and see moose. We went a little ways down it, but we just ran out of time because it was getting dark. We wanted to get back to camp. But maybe one day. But Grand Marais is amazing. If you get a chance, you got to get up there. Really cool little town. Um, Jack's building the wind stairs. is brutal though. Stairs. He's building stairs. Yeah, but it needs to go down <laughs> the other side. Oh, I hope that's not a bear. What? I don't know, there's something trying to drain the inside out. You can even get in there. You can get in it, but I don't, I don't no. want him to collapse. Yeah, it. you're right. We don't want to collapse because then all we did is. Yeah. Can you see out? Yeah. This is going to be the longest part. No, no. I've got the next picture here. Put our light back in there. Is what are you doing? There? Put the light in there, here. We got too much snow right now. No, put that in your pocket. We've got a lot more to do before we get to that. No, I'm just gonna put them in the hang them. You can't, now there's oh. snow everywhere. Really? Please, you're getting ahead of yourself. No, because if I wanted to just do it, then you there's, put there's it nothing in, this is not a rush. Is it high enough? It's still not high enough? No, Who's gonna put all the snow high. here? Touch the top, you're gonna risk it If we can get the snow out, we might be able to. Can't you just keep pushing it back That's to the back wall? I don't know anywhere to put this sucker. My my bottom's cold. We're sitting on ice cold ground. It's warmer in here than out there though. What is it? Yellow? Yeah. Yep. Little fine. whiskey for warmth? Here. 
you can we didn't dig, is about it's not that we didn't dig enough feeling feeling we're all <laughs> if you were like a okay wait focus no this would be perfect we should dug it's the ceiling turn. red eight damn it there's not Don't much cards there's, i know we're missing wait I got, I got some cards in my pocket oh here's one <laughs> what here there you go <laughs> now it's blue no how, how do you have cards in your blue? pocket <laughs> Nate, I don't know. We're <laughs> we're getting some, you know, whatever. <laughs> There's this huge Wait, mound, and Ooh, we no. dug out inside of it. Why did you make it? It's blue, called a Quincy, kind of like an igloo. It's put you. We got beverage, <laughs> warmth. Stop! With, put a card down. I'm trying to run the live stream. Would you hold on, <laughs> people? Okay, there we go. Blue. Where's the draw cards? <laughs> right there. Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh! You. Oh! Pardon my language. Oh, do, 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 do. No, you, <laughs> what? If you had a reverse, I could have skipped this place. Okay, I, have, I don't I know nothing. You won the first Uno game inside of Quincy. <laughs> I'm sure you wet your pants. Good. Good. Every time. Now you're going to be stuck to the floor. I'm not helping you out. I'm going to get I a refill. I swear, if there's yellow snow in here, it's going to be very nice. <laughs> so much. we got to get out of here now. <laughs> we might try to shape the ceiling taller and we'll come I, back in the morning for I breakfast. I feel wetness. I have to get Oh my god. Get Live out. on the yeah, internet, people. Get cheers. Get Wait, cheer it She in. said Uno, I think. Oh, Crystal said No, you get out of here. This is a this is a PG video. Get out of here. Get out of here. She's sitting on half the deck of cards. What are you doing? Psycho. She's had nothing to drink. She's literally sitting on half okay. the deck of cards. Okay. Cheers, friends. We're gonna get out of our Quincy now and go back to the regular campsite. Oh, Wait, watch for the YouTube for more. <laughs> She oh, she's been hiding cards. <laughs> she's sitting on half the deck of cards. <laughs> she cheated. Her victory's debt null and void. She cheated. Live from Tattagooch State Park in Silver Bay, Minnesota. She wet her pants. We dug out a Quincy, played Uno and drank inside of it, and then Melissa wet her pants in there. Here, I got you. That's what happens when you get a 40 old bladder or whatever hell, 45. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this concludes our activities for tonight. We'll check in before bed. Okay. Oh, we have to have dinner still. Oh, yeah. I'm not taking dinner. Wet pants. I, okay, I have to get to the bathroom.